As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to make movies. Hiya, my name is Joselito, but you can call me Joseliti, and I love being both in front of and behind the camera. Art in many mediums, especially cinema, survives through humanity. We preserve it by telling stories, narratives built and interwoven through reality, fiction, and inspiration. By the time this video is posted, it is a new year which will mark a new era for me that I'm referring to as Project 52 and 24. There are 52 weeks in a year, and I'll be posting one YouTube video a week, all year round. Hence, 52 videos in 2024. So till then, stay tuned. Energy, run! What did I do in a year? I like to think that I was being curious. Be curious, not judgmental. I think about this quote sometimes. I came across it when I saw a clip from the show Ted Lasso. I saw this quote by Walt Whitman. It was painted on the wall there. It said, be curious, not judgmental. I think it's really cool that you can really use this line as a template for how to live your life. But throughout 2023, I realized that I wasn't being curious enough because I felt like I was getting sidetracked way too easily. Getting lost in the sauce that is social media, technology, and material possessions. I feel like I got too comfortable. I found myself in situations talking to my friends about all that I want to do, hope, and achieve. And then the same things I mentioned to my friends, I share with strangers at parties or networking events. And that's when I realized that I wasn't even being curious, nor was I even judging others. I was simply just being a mouth breather. Because here I am, prattling all about my aspirations and not doing a damn thing about it. I don't want to be a square, alright? No one wants to be a square. You don't want to be a square. It's just too comfortable talking about the work as opposed to putting in the work. Hence the pause on my YouTube. Because for 2023, I did a little rebrand and focused more on making Instagram reels as a way to kind of redefine the way I make my videos, my cinema. So for 2024, I'll be mindful of my environment processing things in smaller doses, not getting overstimulated so as to further flourish in my career pursuits and creative endeavors, as well as not closing myself off to new opportunities, allowing myself to be uncomfortable so I can grow. But speaking of opportunities and new routines in my life, I've added Barnes and Nobles to my routine. Throughout 2023, I've been using Barnes and Nobles as a safe space to edit, read, write, and increase overall productivity with my work. Now, is it working? Um... <laughs> yes, it is, but I'm currently unlearning the habit of checking my phone every five seconds. Although I am talking about making every use of every minute in a year and disciplining myself, I'm still gonna have fun. Like, let's be, like, be fucking for real. There's like an art in like fine balancing. Like last year, uh, I did some music videos, a pageant, reinvigorated my love for filmmaking, watched my sister get married, sandboarded in Egypt. And at the end of the year, I don't have a job. So it's all just a bunch of wibbly wobbly, time you want me stuff of positive and negative emotions. And I do feel fortunate enough being able to share this with you on this platform about what I've done and what I've been through over the course of one year. Whoever is watching this, whoever you are, I know you have a goal, something you're building up or leading up to. And I know it's frightening how life will take and give things away concomitantly throughout the course of 52 weeks. But in every minute of each day of those weeks, I know you're going to get a step closer to those goals. Only if you put in the work and say no to things that will distract you. Every day I remind myself to have fun, but also reflect on what I can do better and what I should work on. I just know that for this year 2024 despite whatever life throws at me i will continue to be curious and not judgmental but what are you gonna do in a year <laughs> <laughs>